Liz, what do you think is happening here? Uh, we've had a lot of negative uh, news and uh, negative talk, and yet, um, well, well, now actually, by the way, things are getting worse all over again. I don't know, Liz. Well, I mean, in, in these next few days, we're sort of in this waiting period for earnings season to kick off. And I think this earnings season can be very pivotal. We're only looking at expectations of about 3 to 4 percent growth, which is not a big margin above zero. And the other thing that I think investors have to keep in mind is that this quarter and next quarter and 2022 as a whole, we're seeing sales growth above earnings growth, which is not a regular situation. And that's been driven mostly by inflationary pressures. So as inflation comes down, you're going to see that top line buffer come down. And that's where the rubber really hits the road for companies on the bottom line. And I think we're going to start to see that in this quarter's reports. Are you of the view that the markets will be down as, as far as 20 percent uh, over the next six to nine months? And that's a possible prognostication by Jamie Dimon, or are you of the view, is there an upside surprise here that, that people are missing? Uh, I don't think there's necessarily an upside surprise that people are missing. Now, look, I'm not one to argue with Jamie Dimon. He clearly has much more proximity to the banking industry than many of us do. 20 percent feels like a lot. But having said that, I don't think we're done yet. So the last time I was on Squawk, we still hadn't retested those June lows. And shortly thereafter, we did retest. We failed, but we only went down another two and a half percent from there. And at that point, I said, if we retest, I think just momentum could take us down another five to 10 percent. So I think we're looking at a bottom in the market that's below this. So I do think that there's more downside to come. But getting down 20 percent from here would take us well below 3,000 mm. on the S&P. And that feels like a big overshoot. Um, we got 20 seconds. What would you do then? Right now, if you're worried about yeah. currency contagion, I think it's okay to own gold. I think it's okay to own treasuries in the stock market. Buy the stuff that's still reasonably priced. That's financials, healthcare. I think you can start dripping into industrials. And then later in the year, right. you really put some of the risk back on.